Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with Super Mario Brothers uh, Deluxe for the Game Boy. Why am I here with this? Um, I'm real tired after work. <laughs> I've been working very hard for the past week to the point where I can't even record Shadow Archive with Zen because we're both busy with work. So I'm just going to sit back and play a game that I remembered playing as a kid, which is this game. So, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. Let's get into it as soon as I can figure out... There we go. I think I have to hit... Okay, great. One moment. Alright, there we go. Now it's working. Hopefully. Uh, let's get into it. So yeah, what's this? It's Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. They basically made Super Mario Bros. then put it on the, uh, the Game Boy. And then they have a bunch of things in it. Like there's a toy box. I think you can go in here and get your fortune read says right here, I'm gonna be extremely lucky, so I just get randomly five up, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. Retry. No. Then I think here you can check out the date. If you ever wanted to know what what time it was in 1999, there you go. This is a very silly. I did not I did not remember that it actually had this feature. Whatever. Happy day. Answer. New day. No, we're fine. Let's get out of here. So let's actually play the game. The original Mario Brothers. See, and they even change it up the way it looked too. I can't believe they actually gave me five up. All right, let's go. Yeah, and this is just straight up Mario. Uh, funny enough, out of all the versions, I don't think I've ever actually played on my channel the original version of Super Mario Brothers. Now that I think about it. I don't think I actually, to be fair, growing up I didn't actually have the original version of Super Mario Bros. I had this All-Stars version, which was the SNES version. So that's the one I'm used to, really. But, you know, you played one version of this game, you've played multiple versions of this game. Okay, go here. There we go. Fire, fire. Man, this really is one of the best first levels of a video game. <laughs> Very simple in what it does. Let you screw around, introduce your power-ups. Stomp some Goombas. Even though I didn't stop any of them, I just ran through them. There we go. Let's just complete the level. We'll move on to the next one. Oh. Go. Oh. I did not make it to the full tap there. It's fine. But yeah, that was the power of the Game Boy, that you could just have a NES game in your pocket, ready to go anywhere. Even though I think this might have less worlds? I actually don't know, I actually think it might be the entire game. It's been a very long time since I've played this and actually beaten it. There we go. Oh man. Ooh, Fireflower. Here's one thing that's actually different. I remember this because you can actually go back just a little bit more. It was less forgiving on Super NES and uh, NES for sure. This one's a little bit more leeway in going backwards. Oh yeah, let me get some coins. You might never know when I need a 1-up. Yep. Bop, bop, bop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Man. I wonder if kids nowadays are playing the original Mario Brothers. I assume it gets passed on, like some kind of ritual, but I actually don't know. It would make me incredibly sad to hear kids no longer play original Mario Brothers. Just be so easy. Oh god. To emulate at this point on any version. And honestly, it's available in, in multiple stances as well. But chances are most kids nowadays have played more Mario Maker. Whoop! I on purpose decided not to go for the warp log. I'm just gonna play normal. Go up the slides. <clears throat> Making good time. I might actually be able to, what, in 10 minutes' time, beat the first world. Doom, boom, boom, boom. Ooh. Got anything here? Nope. Whoop. There we go. Kill him. Kill him. Silly Goombas. Yeah, I have basically this entire first world memorized at this point. 
Maybe just because I've replayed original Mario Brothers so much. Well, not even the original one, the 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 All Stars version of it, but it's the same the same basic game. It's just that the the NES one looks nicer. Boop. 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 It'd be incredibly sad if I were to randomly die on the first world. There we go. Five thousand big points. Good to go beat up Bowser now. Mm, I wonder if I can keep this fire. I wonder if I can beat him up there. It is really funny to me that I actually did get randomly five extra lives <laughs> from that fortune. Whoop. Mm. Don't need that, because I'm pretty sure it's just a... another mushroom. Alright. Time to fire with fire. He's a Goomba. Da -da 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 -da. Thank you, Mario. But our princess is in another castle. How could she? Even though I don't think it's actually her. That's another little look at that little slight animation of him jumping up. Very nice. The next world. I mean, I might as well keep going. I didn't expect to beat the first world in ten, six minutes or so. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, it's like the Japanese version. <laughs> well, this is where it all comes crashing down now. Okay. Mushroom faster than Goomba. Noted. That. There we go. Uh, what the hell was I gonna say? No, don't bump a dump. Now, this is where I start to remember less and less about the game. Though I still have a decent enough memory to go, like, ah, it's not really gonna be an issue for a while. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying, is that in the English version, um, you go down to regular Mario, but then in the Japanese version it's much tougher, you actually go back down to small Mario, which is cruel, but it's not too bad. I wonder why it's like that. It's a very curious design, maybe they're trying to say that... I don't know what they're trying to say, actually. That Big Mario and Fire Mario, like, is not a different stage. It's the same guy, so of course he wouldn't get hurt by it or something. Top of the flag, 5,000 points easy. And we move on to the next world. But yeah, I was always curious about that. You would think you would get an extra shield because it's two power-ups, but no. I guess they take it more as, like, that's your armored form or something. It's like in Ghost and Goblins. If you lose your armor, then you lose all of it. Even if it is powered up a little bit. Oh god. God, this song has also been bor borrowed into my head. What do you think is some of the best water music in games? Because I think it's, it might be the Banjo-Kazooie water music. It sounds very bloopy. Whoop. Almost died to a fish. It's okay. This is very good, though. This is like the progenitor of what all water music would be for the next 50 years. Even though it has not been 50 years, it's been 30-something years for, for Mario. But this is basically water music here until the end of time. And we're done here. Doop, doop. Though I did lose my big form. But it's okay. Apparently I can jump higher as a little one. Boom! Throwing up the red flag. Okay, let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, I remember this one. It's while the cheap cheeps come out. Whoop, whoop. This is something that was not in the original game. Is this the going up and down? 
At least not to this level. It must be something they added to the Game Boy version. I've always wondered, where are these f coming from? Sky f Oh, shit. I forgot that my run and my jump was two different ones. Got mixed up in my head. It's alright. There we go. Now, the way to actually just beat this stage is just gun. You never stop running. I stopped running! There we go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> really jumped at that fish. Alright, let's go. Alright. Like I said, never stop running. Nope. Yeah, see, that's the way to actually beat this level. She's just supposed to run for it and never stop running. Made the dangerous mistake of stopping to run. Ooh, but I'm close to 100 um, coins and I get a free life. Even though I've lost a good chunk of them at this point. Three. Whoop. I could have swore that. Aw, oh, come on. Okay, it's fine. I feel like I had that. <sighs> Thank God for perfect control. Thank God for perfect control. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, chill. Oh, if this was a meaner level, I would be falling to my death. Yeah, he, he shoots the fire. I... God damn it. Alright, it's fine. funny if I just lost all my lives right here. Alright. Moving on. Get an extra life. Big Mario. This is just gonna be very easy. There we go. Toad's pretty happy about it, but unfortunately, a princess is in another castle. And we stomp the castle out of pure rage. And we move on. And I think. Oh, yeah, let me save. There we go. I think that's it for today's video, everyone. Again, gonna be just chill and relax. And I did want. To, I was gonna record for go, but I actually need to just record. I just need to just grind the stupid Valentine's Day event. And you probably don't, if you, unless you want like a five-hour-long video of me doing that. I don't think it'd be very enjoyable for you. So that's it for today's video, everyone. Though, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.